Hey and welcome to the first official video on this channel. My name is Jay and I'm an artist and indie dev. Has anybody else grown up playing the online dress up games? I used to like playing them as a kid and there were so many. I would spend hours scouring the internet just to find the coolest ones. I was so obsessed with creating my own characters so these games gave a fun way to do it. There was one specifically I used to like playing a lot. It was one of the Rosen Maiden characters and you could use their clothes and their different hair pieces and etc to build your own doll. I always wanted to make my own dress up game when I was a kid and I recently started seeing them again so now feels like a great time now that I have the skills to put one together. First I started out by doing some simple research. What were the components of one of these online dress up games? I found that many are just click and drag and have a variety of clothes and may let you pick a doll base. Some also allowed for you to change the scene or background and some occasionally let you share your creation on social media. Once I was done with my research, I broke my doll dress up game into these tasks. For the visual side of the game, I needed to create the doll, clothes and accessories, and the backgrounds. For the task to be completed in Unity, I needed to create a way to click and drag items, change the doll's color, and change the scene background. This was something that would be done using C-Sharp. I jumped into this immediately, so unfortunately there's no footage of me drawing the doll and her clothes, so here I'm just showing the end result and how the game is going to play. I put the doll base on its own sheet, then put the clothing on one and the accessories like the hair, shoes, and face features on the other. I do have the footage of me creating the backgrounds. The first background is a simple beach scene with a sandcastle. I didn't want to spend a long time on these backgrounds, so there's nothing fancy. The second background is of a purple room. I spent more time on this than I would have liked to. Once all this was completed, I jumped into Unity and started to build the dress up game. This part I also forgot to record, but you can see that I have the basics of the game implemented. Initially, I had planned to make it to where players could change the color of the clothing and the character's skin tone, but decided it would be easier to just have free colored clothing. From there, I started to add in a canvas so I could add in the backgrounds and a button to change the scene. I had a bit of an issue setting it up. All my UI and assets were under the canvas instead of displaying on top. After a bit of tinkering, all I did was switch the render mode on the canvas to screen space overlay and inspector. Then I checked to see if everything was still working and added a button for players to change scene. Once I had the button set up in the Unity editor, I created a new script, which basically allows for the scene to change by clicking the button. As you can see, I made a few errors and realized I used brackets instead of parentheses. Once I fixed that, the code was fine. Then I went back into the Unity editor to add the script and function to the button, and I test that out. Once that's working, I go back into the script to make sure the player can switch back and forth between the two scene options. With all that set up, I wanted to add some music. I just went to upbeat.io where I usually get all my music for my videos. On top of having a variety of music, they also have sound effects and music you can use for games. Once I find a song I like, I go back to Unity and add the audio into the scene. And now for the most tedious part of making this game, importing and slicing all these assets. Some of the footage got lost for sprite slicing, but I had six different sheets for clothing and seven different sheets for accessories to a slice. Once that was done, I organized all the assets into groups and then organized them into the canvas. All of this work doesn't really matter, by the way, because the layers in Unity are not set up for these assets. So when I play the game, I can't grab what's directly on top visually. I grab what's on top in layers. So enjoy my struggle here.
At this point, I'm exhausted by the organizing, so I move on to adding the title page. This game probably doesn't need it, but in my head, it's just good to have a title screen. Initially, I was going to add a doll select button, but since I only made the one doll, I ended up getting rid of it. I'll probably save that option for an updated version that I work on if I work on it later on. I had a lot of fun putting this together and it came out decent. I definitely am going to keep working on improving it visually and add in some more options for players, but for now I'm happy for what it is. The project took me about two weeks on and off and I did most of the Unity stuff in like two to three days, so it's not really a complicated project. I did also look up tutorials to help me with the coding and the sliders for the doll's space skin tone was a free asset I found in one of the tutorials I watched. If you want to play my dress up game, you can find it on itch.io for free. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Or leave a comment if you have any suggestions or a link to your own game. Thanks for watching my video and have a good day. Bye.